Hello, I'm Tony Saggers. I'm the uh, director of Stratac Logical Limited, and I've been an expert witness since 1995. My background uh, is in law enforcement, and I completed a 30-year career in 2017 with expert evidence as a very big part of that. In 2004, I proposed and went on to implement and manage the first nationally coordinated expert evidence capability in response to organised crime, uh, predominantly in the early stages, drug trafficking, but then moving on to other crimes such as firearms, money laundering and border security breaches. During that time, uh, through uh, practitioner roles within policing, within the National Crime Squad, Serious Organised Crime Agency, and National Crime Agency, it became an absolute responsibility to fully understand the implications of CPS guidelines, the criminal procedure rules, and the significant impact that case law has upon us as practitioners and managers of expert evidence capabilities. As a practitioner, uh, it's absolutely crucial to be really focused on your CV and to make sure you're fit for purpose. I think that the most important thing is that fine line between personal professional development and taking on a case that's challenging and not overstepping, uh, overstepping the mark and becoming an enthusiastic amateur by way of attempting to respond to matters that are outside of your experience and, and understanding. It's an absolute pleasure to have been uh, invited by Mark Solon uh, to attend this year as a, a participant um, and to provide a contribution to the Expert Witness Conference on Friday the 8th of November in London. I've been to this numerous times before as a, a member of the audience um, and this year I'm really looking forward to bringing my background, which I think will be a first uh, for the Bon Solon Conference, um, as a uh, an organised crime expert witness with a law enforcement background uh, and bringing that as part of a, a discussion uh, with Melanie Simpson KC. Uh, this gives us uh, a great opportunity to discuss a number of key features of, of being an expert witness and expert evidence. And we will be uh, talking to, to attendees about the difference between a prosecution instructed and a defence instructed expert witness. Um, how each party to that finds the appropriate expert, uh, that's absolutely crucial, making sure that that people address a challenge with the, the right level of experience and, and understanding of the, of the field in question. We'll be talking about the difference between proving an offence from the prosecution perspective and generating legitimate reasonable doubt uh, from a defence um, approach. And how that impacts upon the role of expert witness. And in fact, are there any differences? Does that change uh, the approach depending on which party instructs you? Really importantly for me, we'll be talking about unconscious bias. It's a topic I feel very passionate about, um, not just in relation to how much you're being paid or your allegiance to the party that's, that's instructed you, but actually your background and how your affiliation in a professional capacity to, to one side or another of the discussion can influence the way you present your expert evidence, uh, crucially with impartiality. And finally, we'll be concluding by looking at um, key skills. There's a, a very big difference between being uh, an expert and taking the expertise with the responsibility that it entails into a courtroom scenario. And, and that responsibility actually starts long before um, evidence in chief or cross-examination with the report. So for, for me, and I'm sure in this discussion, we'll be, we'll be talking about uh, crucially the quality of a report and what that achieves ahead of an expert witness even entering the courtroom uh, as a part of, a, of an integral key skill. So having taken expert evidence internationally, um, having delivered training and development in South Africa linked to wildlife crime, in Afghanistan linked to counter-corruption within their justice system and across the UK. This is another great challenge for me. I'm not just putting this date in my diary as an attendee. Uh, it's, it's something I really need to prepare for because uh, I really hope and anticipate that we're going to give participants um, a good session discussing the topics that I've just um, relayed to you um, in a condensed but nevertheless uh, detailed way. So I look forward to seeing you on the 8th of November for the Bon Solon Expert Witness Conference.